Your hearing is what connects you to friends, family, and the things you enjoy. If unresolved, hearing loss can cause stress, isolation, anxiety, loneliness, and put a strain on your relationships. As we're about to show you, a hearing test is easy and painless. Let's take a look at what will happen when you get your hearing evaluated. The first thing that a hearing care practitioner typically does is take a detailed case history. All I need you to do is fill out this case history form. If there's anything on it that you're not sure about, that's okay. A case history for a hearing evaluation asks a lot of questions about your hearing, your medical history, and your lifestyle, much like when you visit other healthcare practitioners. Often that involves you answering the questions on a form and then the practitioner talking with you about your answers. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. Hi, I'm Suzanne. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in today. Yeah. Please follow me. Okay. Thank you so much for coming in today, Sally. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what brings you to us today? Well, my family's been telling me that I'm not hearing well, and okay. I just had to shut them up. I okay. would come and get tested. I think I'm fine. Okay, okay. You mentioned that you're having some trouble hearing out of both ears. You don't notice that one ear or the other is No, I tried using the phone on both sides and I didn't see a difference. So I think it must be, if I have a problem, it's on both sides. Okay. And you said this has been going on for about three or four years. Yes. Yep. That's, that's why it's time. That's a long time to wait. I'm sure glad that you came in today. Yeah, me too. After the case history, your hearing care practitioner will use a magnified ear light called an otoscope to look into your ears. Okay, let's take a look in that right ear. Some practitioners may use a video otoscope that can project the image onto a monitor so that you can see the inside of your ears too. The purpose of this visual exam is to ensure that the ear canals are clear and that the eardrums look normal in appearance. Looks really good. If the practitioner sees anything that may indicate a medical condition or contribute to a hearing problem, such as excessive earwax, they will make the necessary recommendations or referrals. I'm going to have you step into the sound booth and we'll get started on the testing. Please make yourself comfortable in that chair. After that, it is time to begin the hearing test, usually done in a sound-treated booth or sound-treated room. This allows an accurate evaluation without any competing outside noise. A series of hearing tests is conducted with headphones placed onto your ears or earphones placed into your ears and a headband-like device that sits behind your ear. For most of the testing, the hearing in each ear is checked independently. Your practitioner will use a machine called an audiometer to send a series of tones with different pitches to each of your ears. Your practitioner will tell you how to respond when you hear the sounds. Based on your responses, they will determine what the quietest sounds are that you can hear at each frequency. This is your hearing threshold. By sending the sounds along two different pathways, your hearing care practitioner will have a better idea about how each part of your ear is functioning. While they are doing this, they will be recording these results on a special chart called an audiogram. Hot dog. Ice cream. Another type of test Cowboy. typically done is speech testing. You will Birthday. be presented with words either spoken by your hearing care practitioner or played from a recording. You'll be asked to repeat the words that you hear. This type of testing may be done several times with different conditions, including various volumes, types of words, and background noise. This helps the practitioner determine your speech listening thresholds and understand your word recognition ability, which is how well your brain is able to process speech when it is presented to you at a volume appropriate for your hearing ability. This is very important in predicting the benefit you'll get from hearing aids. Are we all done? We are all done, and I'm sure glad you came in today for a hearing test. After that portion of the hearing evaluation is complete, the hearing care practitioner will discuss the results of your test, 
by showing you your audiogram and explaining what it means. The horizontal axis, which shows the frequency or pitch of the sound, which is measured in hertz. Over here on this side, we have lower pitch sounds, and over here we have higher An audiogram is a summary of your hearing test results that includes a graph that visually depicts the hearing ability that you have in each ear. Your hearing care practitioner will explain how to interpret the graph and how you are hearing across the pitches. They will tell you whether you have normal hearing or hearing loss, which may be mild, moderate, severe, or profound. Your hearing care practitioner will tell you if you need help with your hearing at this time. Most types of hearing loss can't be treated with medicine or surgery. For approximately 90% of people with hearing loss, hearing aids are the recommended treatment. However, one size does not fit all. So let's talk a little bit about our options. Hearing aids come in a lot of different styles, colors, shapes, and sizes. They come in custom-made in-the-ear hearing aids and lightweight behind-the-ear hearing aids. This hearing aid is what I would recommend for this hearing loss. Let me tell you why. Because you They will discuss the available hearing aid features and benefits, such as Bluetooth, remote control, telecoils, and volume controls, to help you determine which will best meet your needs. Sometimes your hearing care practitioner will be able to demonstrate the hearing aids in your ears in the office. The first thing that we're going to do is take a quick measurement and see what size tube you would need. All right, that looks good. They'll also ask you about your personal preferences concerning style, aesthetics, color, and cost. I'm going to put that right behind your ear, and then we're going to work this part into your ear canal. Oh, it tickles. Yeah, there you go. And if we pull your hair out, you can't even see it. Fantastic. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look great? If you are about to become a first-time hearing aid wearer, your practitioner will also help you set realistic expectations about what hearing aids will and will not do for you. Today's hearing aids are absolutely amazing, but they aren't miracles, and it's important to understand what you can realistically expect. A complete hearing evaluation is a painless and easy way to help take care of your health. Having your hearing tested is the first step to improved communication with your loved ones and it will give you the information you need to proceed forward with better hearing. Untreated hearing loss can cause serious decline in quality of life. You may have hearing loss and not even realize it. If you don't get your hearing tested, you won't know, so don't put it off another day. Please call today to schedule an appointment to get your hearing tested.